Hi everyone, I'm Lori, the Emerson Wellness Center, and I teach Pilates. So we're gonna just do a little quick go through just to get you going. All right, first we're gonna roll those shoulders back and down. So inhale up, exhale down. So we're bringing those shoulders up to the ears. We're gonna glide those shoulders down our back. So we're hugging the shoulder blades towards our spine and gliding them down the sides of the spine. So on this shoulder warm-up, we're just moving the shoulders in all their different ranges of motion. So remember your Pilates breathing is diaphragm breathing. So in through the nose and out through pursed lips. Let's get four, three, last two, last four. Then we're going to float those arms up to our sides and press back down. Inhale up, exhale down. And just trying to keep in mind, we want to keep the shoulders away from the ears. So as you bring those arms out to the sides, keep those shoulders gliding down your back. Last four. Last three. Two. Last one. We take those fingertips, reach out in front. My arms feel like they're hugging a tree. Take an inhale here. We're separating the shoulder blades on our back. Exhale, open. Inhale, tap the fingers. Exhale, open the arms. So we're separating the shoulder blades and now we're hugging the shoulder blades. Inhaling and exhaling. Last three. Last two. Last one. For the breathing, let's take those hands, put them on your rib cage. Just touch the fingertips together. So Pilates breathing, again, diaphragm breathing. So we're not doing belly breaths. We want to open that rib cage up. So putting that breath into the diaphragm. So inhale, nose. You're going to feel that rib cage expand. The space between the rib cage open up. As I exhale, that space closes. So I inhale, nose. Exhale, purse lips. Last one. Belly comes in and up. Belly stays in on the exhale, in on the inhale. Then some pelvic rocking. So we're going to make a triangle with the hands. Thumb and fingertips are touching. Thumbs on the belly button. Fingertips down by the pubic bone. Heels of the hands are on those two bones on the front of your body. We refer to them as hip bones in exercise. So we're going to inhale and we're going to push the belly forward. That puts me in a little arch in my back into extension. Exhale, pull the belly button away from the thumb. It's going to glide the hip up the front of the body, putting us in neutral. So if I look down, thumbs and fingertips are all on the same plane. As I inhale and I tip the pelvis forward or push the belly button into the thumbs, the thumbs are ahead of the fingertips. That's extension, puts that arch in my back. So exhale, pull the belly button away from the thumbs, glide the hip up the front of the body, back to neutral. So always thinking neutral as the start and end point. So inhale, push the belly button forward. Exhale, pull it back, pausing in neutral. Now, if I keep gliding that hip up the front of the body or taking the rib cage to the hips, it's putting me in flexion of the spine. So always starting with neutral, ending with neutral. All right, so I roll the shoulders back and down. Feels like the arms are behind me. We have ear, shoulder, hip, and heel. Inhale up, exhale down. Again, inhale up, exhale down. We're going to roll down. So I'm going to put those arms in front of me. I've got the shoulders gliding back and down. And because I glide that hip up and I'm in neutral, it feels like the weight's on my toes. So we take an inhale, and we always imagine the wall is the mat, the ceiling is the mat, or the mat is the mat. We're rolling off the wall. So the head comes off first, the shoulders second, the middle back third, and the glutes are last. And then we're going to walk out to the plank. So three big steps or four little. Place those knees down and press back to child's pose. So while we're in child's pose, we can really feel the rib cage open up, especially in our back. So take that big inhale through your nose, and you're going to feel that rib cage expand. That's the breath going into the diaphragm. And then exhale through those pursed lips. Last one, inhale. Rib cage expands. Exhale, pursed lips. Let all that air out. Coming into the all fours, where the wrist is under the shoulder, the knees are under the hips, I glide the shoulders down my back, and I'm already pulling the belly button up. I'm in neutral spine. We're going to go through all four ranges of motion. 
So we're going to inhale, and as I inhale, I'm going to push the tailbone up to the sky, drop the belly, roll the shoulders, and lift the chin last. I'm only looking where the chest is pointed. I wouldn't look at the wall, so head, neck, and spine always follow the same line. As I exhale, I tuck the tailbone under, pull the abs up, separate the shoulders, drop the crown of the head. We're in flexion, where the rib and hip on the front of the body come together. So using articulating spine, as I take my inhale, I'm going to push the tailbone up, drop the belly, roll the shoulders, lift the chin. I'm in extension or cow. Rib and hip on the front of the body separate. As I exhale, I tuck the tailbone under, pull the abs up, separate the shoulders, drop the crown of the head. I'm rolling through neutral and imprint to get to flexion or cat. So inhale as I roll through neutral and imprint to get to cow or extension. Exhale as I roll through neutral and imprint to get to flexion or cat. Last two. Last one. And then we find that halfway point. Come back in that child pose. Big inhale. And as you take those inhales, remember I said that you're going to feel that rib cage open up. But take a big inhale. Let that breath fill up your rib cage, go up into your chest and right up under your arms. And then let all that air out. Take another inhale, and as you exhale, float the fingers along the sides of the mat as you stack one vertebrae on top of the other. Then roll the shoulders back and down, chin comes up last, and flip on over. So we scooch to the front of the mat, feet to the front of the mat, and we do a couple half rollback C curves. So I'm going to take an inhale, and as I exhale, I tuck the tailbone under and I roll towards my waistband. We're in flexion of the spine. Roll forward, forehead to knees. We're still in flexion and then stack up one vertebrae on top of the other and then roll the shoulders back and down, chin up last. You're back to neutral. So I inhale, roll towards my waistband. I'm in flexion. Roll forward, forehead to knees, still in flexion and stack up. So we want to use flexion to roll down. Okay, the only way it can roll is if we are in flexion. So take an inhale and we go back to that half roll back C curve. And then, as we exhale, we roll down, again, articulating spine. So one vertebrae at a time from your waistband to the bottom tip of your shoulder blade, then the shoulder blades, then the neck, and then the back of the head. So once we're down, the knees are bent, the feet are flat. So we're going to roll through three ranges of motion here. Remember, we have four, but we're only going to be able to do three as we're laying on the mat. So this is your ab prep or your pelvic rocking. So I take an inhale and I push the belly way up to the sky and I can slide my hands right under my middle back. We're back in an upside down cow, okay, or extension. Rib and hip are gliding apart. As I exhale, I pull the belly button away from the shirt towards my spine, roll under the waistband and roll onto the middle back. So I'm rolling through neutral to get into imprint. So everything's on the mat, my shoulders, middle back and glutes. Inhale, pass through neutral, back into extension. And then exhale, pass through neutral, back into imprint. Once you're in the imprint, just windshield wiper those knees about two inches right to left. It's going to release that middle back off the mat and put you in neutral. So just a comfortable place for your spine. So we always work in imprint because we know it's safe for our back. We know the rib and hip are coming towards each other, so our abs are engaged. So roll the shoulders back and down, and then take an inhale, and as you exhale, pull the belly button away from your shirt towards your spine and roll into that imprinted position. Feels like my glutes are gonna roll up into bridge right off the mat. So I'm always gonna be saying light glutes, heavy middle back. Then we take an inhale, and as we exhale, we bring the right leg to tabletop. We take another inhale, and as we exhale, bring the left leg to tabletop. Whenever I go to tabletop, I squeeze the thighs, squeeze the knees, squeeze the heels, separate the toes and the balls of the feet, and push those toes across the room. And I'm keeping that middle back flat on the mat. So let's play around a little uh, with a couple exercises here so you can feel those abs working. So I'm always saying squeeze through the midline, or squeeze the thighs, squeeze the knees, squeeze the heels. So let's take an inhale, separate the legs about a foot apart, and then squeeze them back together on the exhale. You're going to feel that belly button pull down. You're going to feel that middle back get heavier on the mat. Squeeze those legs together as hard as you can. Inhale, separate. Exhale, squeeze. Feel those abs engage. Inhale, separate. Exhale, squeeze. Last one. Inhale, separate. 
and exhale, squeeze. Bring those knees and hands under the backs of the thighs and rock side to side. So we always rest here. You know, so the middle back stays flat on the mat, so we know the back is safe if it's on the mat. All right, so we're going to put those arms by our sides. We roll the shoulders back and down. We pull the belly button down. We're back into that imprint, and then we venture those legs back to tabletop. So tabletop is work. You can feel those abs working as I venture those legs back out to that tabletop position. So now we're going to do flexion of the lower spine. We can have flexion of the upper spine. We could have flexion of the lower spine. So you always hear upper abs or lower abs. So this exercise, we're bringing the hip to the rib cage, so it's considered lower abs, even though your abs are all one piece, okay? But you can also isolate working upper by rib to hip or lower hip to rib. So we're going to take those knees towards the chest, roll the glutes off the mat, and then back down on the mat, keeping that middle back flat on the mat as we go back out to that tabletop position, thinking like glutes, heavy middle back. So inhale, roll the glutes off, roll them back on. So I can feel that hip gliding up the front of my body to that rib cage. And then, how heavy am I going to let those glutes go as I roll them back onto the mat? So keeping that middle back heavy, keeping those glutes light, but venturing all the way back out to that tabletop position. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one. We bring those knees in, hands under the backs of the thighs, and rock side to side. So there's flexion of the lower spine. So let's do an exercise where we have flexion of the upper spine. So my knees are in, my middle back's flat on the mat. I roll the shoulders back and down. I pull the belly button down. I feel the glutes get a little lighter. And I venture those legs back to tabletop. So we're going to take the fingers. We're going to put them behind the head. And we're going to take an inhale. We're going to tilt the chin lightly. And exhale, peel the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. So here's our flexion of the upper spine. We're gliding that rib cage down to the hip. We're going to take those elbows. We're going to tap them on the knees. So it's bringing me up off the bottom tip of my shoulder blade. I'm only going to go back onto the bottom tip of the shoulder blade and then take that right elbow to the left knee. So both elbows tap both knees. And then we tap left elbow to right knee. So both, then to the side, both, then to the side. And as I'm curling those shoulders up off the mat, I'm using my abs to get the shoulders up. So I'm gliding the rib cage down the front of the body rather than pulling on the back of my head. So my fingertips feel light on my head. So abs do the work to create that flexion in the upper spine. Let's get five, four, Three, two, and last one. We bring the knees in, lower the head, neck, and shoulders, and rock side to side. So let's give those abs a break. We're going to put those arms by our sides, roll the shoulders back and down, pull that belly button down, squeeze the legs together, venture back to tabletop. We want to get out of tabletop, but we need to use our abs. So the glutes feel light, middle back feels heavy. I take an inhale and as I exhale, right toe finds the mat, toe first, heel second. Then I take another inhale and as I exhale, left toe, then heel. So hold that imprint, hold that belly button down, walk the heels towards your glutes. We're going to be going up to, into bridges. My feet are hip width apart, it's about eight inches. I'm still in my imprint and I feel the glutes light on the mat. I would like my ankles under my knees for bridges if it bothers the knees, walk the feet a little further away. So I take an inhale and I'm going to glide the hip up the front of the body. It's going to take my glutes about an eighth of an inch off the mat. My waistband's still on the mat. So I've taken my lower back, my glutes off the mat. I'm going to take an inhale and as I exhale, I'm going to roll up one vertebrae at a time, articulating spine, until I get to the top of the bridge. And at the top of the bridge, my shoulders, upper back, is the only thing left on the mat. When I get to the top of the bridge, I reach the knees across the room. 
I'm not going to push the belly up. I'm not going into extension. I want to stop in a neutral spine. So I pull the belly button away from the shirt, and I think hip bones to the sky, not stomach to the sky. So we're working in neutral. Take an inhale. Tap your glutes on the mat. Your middle back's not going to touch because we're not in imprint. We're in neutral. Exhale. Bring the hips back up. Bring the glutes back up. Inhale down. Exhale up. And every time I get to the top, I push those knees across the room, and I feel the glutes and the sit bones kind of squeeze together. So we're working hamstrings, working glutes, so more the back side of our body this time instead of the front. Inhale, nose. Exhale, purse lips. Last five. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one. Stay at the top of the bridge. Walk the feet together. We're going to squeeze those knees. Squeeze the heels. Squeeze the ankles. Extend the right leg long. Keep the knees squeezing. Point that right toe. We're going to inhale down again. Tap those glutes. Exhale back up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Bring that right foot down, extend that left leg long, still pulling that belly button down. I'm reaching that knee, reaching that leg across the room. Inhale down, exhale up. Last five, five, four, three. Squeeze those knees tight, two, one, put that left foot back down, feet are back to their hip width apart, and we roll down. We got create flexion in the spine, so the rib and hip are going to glide together using articulating spine rolling down one vertebrae at a time from the bottom tip of your shoulder blade to your waistband. Then release the glutes on the mat. I'm in my imprint, windshield wiper the knees, and you're back into your neutral. So roll the shoulders back and down, pull that belly button down. Back into your imprint, take an inhale and as you exhale, right leg is tabletop. Take another inhale and as you exhale, left leg is tabletop. We're gonna reach those toes for the sky. And you can also do this with bent knees. So if you get your legs up and you feel like that middle back's coming off the mat, you can't get those legs far enough up over your hips to get that middle back flat on the mat, then bend those knees and pull those knees in. Because remember, we're always trying to get that middle back to stay nice and heavy on the mat. So if you can do it with the straight legs, you do it with the straight legs, point those toes. So going back to those lower abs, I'm gonna to toe tap the ceiling, okay? So kind of making me pretend I have ink on my toes. I'm gonna to try to dot the ceiling with the ink. And then that hip is gliding back up the front of the body. So again, thinking working those lower abs. Last four. Three, two, and one. Take those fingers, put them behind your head. So here's your hardest ab exercise. So long lever legs coming away from the body. So what happens is when the legs go away from the body, the hip wants to go with the legs and that middle back's gonna pop off the mat. So we need to keep that hip up with that rib cage. So we're gonna take an inhale. And as you exhale, we tilt the chin lightly, exhale, peel the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. So we're going to think about that toe tap on the ceiling, get those glutes light on the mat. Then we lower those legs, but we keep that hip with the rib cage and come back up. So I'm going to tap the ceiling, pull the abs down, inhale down, exhale up. And I'm trying to keep those glutes light on the mat as I lower those legs. So we don't want to pop that rib and hip apart and get that middle back off the mat. Last four. Last three. Last two. And last one. We bring those knees in, hands under the backs of the thighs, lower the head, neck, and shoulders, rock from side to side. We bring the forehead to the knees, the glutes are off the mat, the shoulders are on the mat, I'm in full flexion, rib to hip, hip to rib. 
should be able to rock between my waistband and bottom tip of my shoulder blade. Because I'm in flexion, it should be able to roll up to seat it. We flip over. We're back in the all fours. We're gonna make a triangle with our hands, thumb and forefinger together. We're gonna walk those knees a little closer, shift the weight forward. We're gonna do a couple push-ups here. So the forehead's going down towards the mat, ahead of the fingertips. And I'm pulling those abs up. I'm still in my flat back, my neutral or think imprint. <sighs> Inhale down, exhale up. Last five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. We're going to slide all the way out onto the mat. And we're going to do a couple extensions. Or so usually work in the front of the body. But we do want to work the back of the body too. So when I get in this position, I tap my nose on the mat, lift it an eighth of an inch off the mat, pull the belly button off the mat, push the pubic bone into the mat, and I glide myself to the front of the mat where I feel the shoulders glide down my back, the crown of my head reaches for that wall, and I feel that spine get long. So we always want to think long, lengthening. So I take an inhale, roll the shoulders back and down. As I exhale, I raise the heart and chest off the mat. I'm still dragging myself, thinking about that long spine. Belly button's pulling away from that, pubic bone pushing into the mat. So you could stay with the supportive extension or take those arms out to your sides and press the back of those hands towards the sky. So we're getting lower back and upper back. Place those hands down, lower the heart and chest, tap the nose on the mat, one more. Take an inhale, roll the shoulders back and down, drag myself forward, exhale, raise the heart and chest. Stay with that supportive extension, or take those hands up in that teagle position. Lower back down, and then use those hands to press yourself back into child's pose. So after extension work, we always go to flexion, counter pose with flexion. Big inhale, big exhale. Come back into the all fours, couple cat and cow here. So inhale into that cow, exhale into cat. Inhale the cow, glide the shoulders down your back, whether it's cat or cow. Pause halfway between the two. Roll the toes under, press yourselves to down dog. And then walk those fingers towards your toes. Stop about a foot in front. Weights on your toes. Pull those abs up. It's going to take your fingers off the floor. Make pretend there's an arm right around your waist. You're folded over it. Take a big inhale. Weights on my toes. As you exhale, imagine you're rolling onto your mat. Legs, glutes, middle back. Roll the shoulders back and down. Chin comes up last. Take a big inhale up. Exhale down. Another big inhale up and exhale down. Thanks for joining me today and hopefully we'll see you soon at Emerson Wellness Center.